fun looking at the whole thing all together, too. Uh, one of the other reasons I made it as long as I did was this benefit of the people at Casa here, so that you've got a longer stretch before you get a repetition of the same images. So, because it's here for what six weeks. <laughs> so, uh, are there any questions? Not with all those programs, though. Some of those pictures, do you actually dip them and make the color even? Um, some of them I did, yes. Get all that brighter and fuzzier, you know, yep. after, after the fact. Yes. So I can take the picture. Even this one right here looks like you. Yes. This one actually, you saw uh, the original photograph of that. It was a vertical format, and there's, it was my favorite lighting and very soft shadows. But while it, uh, the reason I, I took it to this level, it, it, I imposed an HDR effect on it, which would increase the contrast and add some grain to it, because I wanted to do a painting of it, and I couldn't see enough. <laughs> difference in the contrast uh, on the original photograph. And uh, Joe Malloy here, uh, my hat's off to you. Well, I would, but my hair's a mess yet. <laughs> hat's off. Jill taught me so much about color in particular and composition. Uh, in the many years that I attended art class with her, I started in 2002 and went uh, until just this past June, actually. I skipped one year for some reason. But uh, a lot of the, I'm just trying, are there any images that you're thinking of in particular? Because I can tell you. No, just some of them, like, they're um, so bright. Yeah. yeah, well, uh, again, I'm not sure. This is a Samsung, and it, uh, you know, imposes quite a bit of uh, color saturation. Generally, I don't, uh, do uh, such intense colors. I did enhance colors on uh, the ones for the color chapter. And, uh, I'm just trying to well, well, I have to say you have a good eye, like just, you know, for composition and uh, it just. Well, thank you. A little jealous. <laughs> <laughs> well, and actually, at one point I did want to make was that in. Chapter five for just for fun. Um, none of those pictures were photoshopped except for the ones with the garbage bins and the uh, images that I photoshopped onto the sides. So those I don't know how many lots. Anybody count the lots on that post? I mean that really struck me, and I heard some laughter on that too. And. But after I shot it, it does make sense if you look at it from a security viewpoint. But then as a comedy viewpoint, it's as well. Yeah. I put my lock on and, okay, I'll up you two locks. And I'll put on three more locks and we'll see who's safe. But then it occurred to me, I guess, well, I bet you Rod would like to know or George why people would put that many locks onto uh, a Jane game. Jane was the one. Yeah. The thing about those locks, all you need to do is open one lock and you can take oh, so you have multiple keys. Multiple keys. So you've got your electrician, your uh, carpentry, well, of course, that's to get on the property there. You, I haven't seen that yet done on a door for a house, but uh, it was funny, I thought. And you had to Photoshop the bins? The bins, um, the recycling bins. What I've done here, there were, uh, let's see if we can. That's what our street looks like. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, Rod, to be, you might remember years ago, when they first brought these tarp tubs out, I thought, oh my God, and I looked down my street and it's, it's like row housing, you know, tenements of just all these black bins lined up, bang, bang, bang. And uh, I actually sent a proposal to the city of Lethbridge. I said that, you know, why don't we, you know, make these things look a little more attractive? You know, you put on decals on them. And uh, 
you know, we could get sponsorship for them. I had one there with the Hurricanes uh, logo on it. Another one for G.S. Lakey School. It could be a fundraiser for them. I should go back and talk again, because I know the manager of uh, Waste Management has retired. Go we'll talk to the new fellow. <laughs> in uh, Spruce Grove, they deckle up all of their power transformers. Oh, and do they? Yeah, yeah, okay. they all have like like prairie landscapes, oh, or yeah. they all have nice. Yeah. I saw that done in Kelowna, and of course in Kelowna they've got the, all your blossom trees and everything. And I think it's a great idea to be the green or blue boxes, whichever. Um, from the images you've seen, are there? Uh, can you tell the kind of things I like? <laughs> Definitely there's a lot of painting uh, pictures in there. Yeah. <laughs> there's a lot of yeah. 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 I'm like, hey, wait a minute, that flower was in that, that painting. painting. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, yeah, because I, I enjoy painting as well. And the one, the color swatch, uh, uh, well, three colors to, to make up a green, the yellow, a blue, and a, a touch of red I had. That was just a swipe on a daub of pink, and it was about that big. And I was going to mix it all into green, and I saw that, and I'm done. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's my image right there for the night. That's a quicker painting than Jane. <laughs> <laughs> yes. And Jane, I know you like that one. <laughs> it, it, it's only because of the speed, I bet, is it? Yes. <laughs> Yes, flowers and trees, clouds, I love shooting water. There's a few women in there. There's a few, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> my, my favorite model here. Yeah. Yeah. She goes with me everywhere. There was one mushroom there. There was one mushroom there. Yeah, but I thought there was a mushroom Yeah, well, I, I held myself back on your account. Yeah. Ken and I used to go hiking an awful lot, and on some of the hikes, not all, but some of those hikes, I was falling back, just shooting mushrooms. And that's, again, that whole idea of looking down. And the uh, variety of colors in those mushrooms is just phenomenal. I mean, just, yeah, I just have fun. I bet you have thousands of mushroom pictures. <laughs> no, 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 Ken. You're, you just feel like it's thousands, I'm sorry. Yes? Now, obviously, you had an eye back in the 70s before you got into this. Right. Um, it, it seemed to me it felt like a natural evolution, and uh, I didn't start digital until, what year was that, about 2004, when my film camera broke, and I shouldn't say broke, it was an intermittent problem, wouldn't pay to repair it, so, but uh, I'm, I'm glad you asked that, because as I was preparing my notes for the presentation, I, I I got thinking that really, um, I just see things. And the more I see, I capture them, and I also love to share my experiences. One of the reasons, I think, is that I, when I was in high school, uh, living in southern Manitoba, I was all peace, love, and, you know, to rebel against society, so I went off camping in a desert in southern Manitoba uh, for I hitchhiked there, and uh, it was just glorious. But I was alone, which was nice, but I saw and experienced so much stuff that I wanted to share, and that's what I was missing, is sharing that experience that I have with the world. And she shared an awful lot with me. And uh, so yes, I, yeah, it seemed, Am I correct in saying that I'm likely shooting more than I ever have? Seems like it. Yeah. Yes. The bus to the taxi is coming to get us. It takes us to the airport. He's also going to chase him down. But, um, yes, uh, so, ooh, sick, after 66 years, I'm 66. And uh, just uh, 
the experience, I think, just seeing things and capturing them in my memory, but then also on film. And the amazing thing is, uh, if an image shows up on Sandra's laptop, which I thank you for borrowing, <coughs> um, I can tell if it's one that I've taken or if it's one that someone else has taken. You're like, all those images are still in here, and it's fun. Busy, but it's fun. So I don't know if that answered your question. Okay. And again, I go back to, well, my, my college years, uh, I took advertising arts in Winnipeg and uh, took graphic design, illustration, and photography. And uh, I was wanting to go into design, but I got more encouragement from my photo instructor than my design instructor. So, <laughs> and then my, uh, uh, I think it was my dad that also said that photographers likely have a better chance of getting a job than a graphic <laughs> artist. <laughs> and then I, I had got to go back to Jill again. She, she's taught me so much, particularly her, your color acuity is phenomenal. that I wasn't sure like particularly for this if it would be mixing too much but uh, yeah and the fact that you people have recognized my, my artist colleagues from your class pardon me uh, recognized a lot of those images so uh, I guess it might fit it's interesting I think too taking it from an image that you've taken a photograph of then to try to paint it and try to see it in that way and get the color and the mm -hmm. image to come over the image and watch it. Just taking the photograph and you're there at the right time, the right set of time. But then you really have to believe it when you work on it for three, four, five. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And again, I, I did learn so much doing that. It was fun. And I'm hoping to be at a level now, or at a point anywhere, where I, rather than trying to replicate uh, photographs, uh, put some more design and expression into it. Um, interpretation. Interpretation, yes. Chapter 8. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you really want to know about Chapter 8? I'm scared. Let's see. <laughs> no, actually, it's three minutes after 8. Yeah. Well, well, we'll do it. We'll do it. And if, if anyone wants to leave, feel free. But chapter eight is not your news. Oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Okay. Uh, can anyone tell me the formula for the area of a circle? Pi r squared. Right. And. Uh, what chapter eight deals with, I, I call it uh, pirate TV. And let me write that part right here. And again, if you remember, uh, like I, whoops, I'll do it this way.
16 by 9. The, the tube, hmm? the tube screens are more square, right? Yes, yeah. And the thing I find with the 16 by 9 format, and you may have noticed that in some of the uh, verticals. In fact, God, I'm going to scroll all the way down here. You would have seen this image on there. This is a 16 by 9 format. And uh, we put a vertical in there. That's a business card size, which is close to 16 by 9. You really lose an awful lot. Long story short, I am proposing to uh, develop a group project showing the evolution going from 4x3 to 9 and my thought is that we should now be watching television in a circular format. And that can either be a circular LCD or LED, but uh, likely more appropriately, it, it would either be viewed uh, through a projector system or in your glasses. And I've got a camera over there as well that uh, Rick knows shoots 360 degree videos. So that's kind of hanging out there as well. And we could watch that on the left bridge. They'll, they'll get there, Wayne, because mm -hmm. it's holograms. We had holograms too. Yeah. Yeah. There was one image of I love holograms, except that right now they always have kind of a greenish tinge to them. I haven't seen the latest in holograms, but the technology is developing very quickly. So the introduction on uh, the video itself started off with the night sky and then the rock. Yeah. And that's part of the concept as well is uh, back in the day, <clears throat> we didn't have TVs, they didn't have frames, they were drawing on the rock, on the wall in their cave, or on the, uh, what do they call those under the open tokes there? Erratics. Erratics. Erratics, right. And um, so they weren't confined to, you know, a 16 by 20, 8 by 10, whatever. I actually, I also, I do some strange things. I went to see Paul uh, with one of their meetings because they were uh, debating the regulations they put on uh, the new digital electronic billboards that they have. And what they proposed, I thought, was rather limiting, really. They were really I'm not really talking about the element of how bright the white screens are at night in particular and where they could put them in neighborhoods. But my, my concern was more that what they said it had to be this format. And I said, and if you're going to confine them to certain levels of luminance, you know, there you're also restricting or uh, uh, what's the better term? Restricting or uh, Editing what the artists can do, and as long as they don't use red and blue, because every time I drive by one, I think I'm getting pulled over. <laughs> <laughs> by the way, when I was down in uh, Puerto Vallarta at a uh, resort, and they changed, they did renovations just this past year, and they put on a huge screen. My God, it had to be as wide as this room, and again, of course, 16 by 9 format, but. They didn't talk with their artists about it because so often, if this would run at night and fill the entire courtyard, and they put up uh, some flashing images and a white background, and it would just, if you were facing, if I was facing Sandra and the screen was back there, it would just terrible. So again, there's a lot of new things that people have to consider with formats and media and uh, what, what we can accomplish and what we should look at uh, reaching further for. So does anybody want to join me on a proposal for a CASA, for a hybrid TV? It could evolve and develop with another name or concept, or whatever. Could be some fun though. Wait, we'll have a easier time.
Thank you very much for coming and sharing with us.